if we then look ahead uh, at the summer plan, uh, which is a period that covers beginning of September to the end of March, that is the period that we are talking about, um, we factored in uh, the failure of uh, Medupi Unit 4, uh, which Philip has discussed. Uh, we have taken into account uh, the required outages that are planned. What the plan shows is that for the most part, we will need uh, demand response as one of the levers. Uh, we will require the emergency resources, as well, such as interruptible load shedding, as well as the open cycle gas turbine. So the period ahead is expected to still be constrained. And it also showed that we will be using diesel OCGTs over weekdays, which we don't like, uh, but relatively lower uh, uh, usage of diesel uh, over some of the weekdays. Um, but taking out a big unit such as Medupi Unit 4 at around 800 megawatts does have a huge impact on the, on the power system. Initially, we believe that 18 months of liability maintenance, and I want to repeat that, 18 months of implementing the liability maintenance will take us to a situation where we can minimize and reduce the risk of load shedding. We never said that we will eliminate load shedding. However, Terence, what has happened with Madupi 4 and Kendall 1 set us back <laughs> quite, uh, quite drastically. You know, 720 megawatts at Madupi 4 and Kendall 1, 640. To make up that 1,300 megawatts uh, is difficult with the system that we do have. So we had some setbacks. Uh, is a performance where we want it? No, absolutely not. Um, but I can assure Terence, yourself, and for those listening, that we are committed. We are really working hard at this. Um, but we have significant challenges uh, in, in this environment. We really do. Uh, and we will continue, um, you know, to maintain our plan, plant in order to have it sustainable. But that unfortunately takes existing capacity of the system. And this is unfortunately where we find ourselves. Have we made progress? Yes, we believe we have made progress. If you put back the 1,300 megawatts, and unfortunately the incident that happened yesterday morning, another 920 megawatts, it has a significant impact on a constrained uh, system at this point in time. As generation, we acknowledge that our performance is far from where it should be. Uh, our performance is still unpredictable, and thus it results in a period of uh, load shedding like, like we've had, and our units are still unreliable. We, we are driving the improvement initiatives hard. I've taken you through what we are doing on the maintenance, what we're doing on skills, what we are doing on, uh, on leadership. So those things are driven hard, particularly the leadership one, because I, I believe that given the current circumstances, there is still quite a lot that we can do to improve our performance. So that is where the focus is, improving our performance you know, and not, and not uh, see ourselves as victims or you know, it's nothing that we can do. So we are focusing a lot on, on leadership. We need, uh, though, to ensure um, that there is additional capacity in the country because that will give us space to be able to do our maintenance. So at this stage, Jan indicated between 4,000 and 6,000 megawatts. That will give us space to do our maintenance because now sometimes we plan an outage, but because of the constraint system, you then say, let's shift the outage to a later period. That compromises maintenance. Whereas if we have this additional capacity and the funds that are required, then we can play, plan those interventions.